Welcome back to another one of our FortiGate tutorial videos. In this video, we'll be creating a remote management access to your firewall. Um, our goal is to be able to manage, configure the firewall from a secondary remote location while still keeping it secure by limiting the source IP that we're coming in from. Um, so let's get started on a step-by-step. -step. Welcome to our last FortiGate 60E. The first step here is to head over to system on the left, administrators, and we're gonna begin by creating a new administrator. So click uh, create new administrator, and this is gonna pop up. Here we're gonna type in the name. Uh, make sure you type in a unique name here. Um, it cannot you cannot use any spaces or special characters so for this example we are going to call it we'll call it YouTube video test <clears throat> it's gonna be a local user type in the password confirm the password um, you can type in a comment here, and then the next role would be to select or assign the profile. Um, your options here are admin no access, prof admin, super admin, and super admin read only. Um, obviously, um, super admin read only can only read access. Um, the super admin can, um, it's a read and write admin, so you can change and um, execute with this profile and then there is the prof admin so prof admin is let's click on it you can actually custom um, select here what kind of access you want this user admin to have um, this is useful if say you have um, say you have a large network or a large organization and you want to have um, certain staff member to have certain roles um, someone could be maybe just auditing, auditing um, ACLs or auditing the um, the local users or you know the domain or it could be anything. Here you would decide what kind of access they could have, um, and you can even customize it a little bit more, get a little bit more granular by clicking on the custom and then selecting there. So I'm just gonna click Prof Admin for this one. on it yeah okay um, and while we're here I just want to point out that unlike other administrator accounts the administrator accounts named admin um, exists by default and cannot be deleted so this is different from that admin um, user or account um, the admin administrator account is similar to a root administrator account um, this, administ this administrator account will always have full permission to view and change all of the configuration options, um, including viewing and changing all other administrator accounts. Um, so let's continue. So prof admin for this example. And then the second part here is the restricting of the login or the source IP that you're coming in from. So you're going to select restrict login to trusted host and for our example we are going to do let's say my home IP address and let's say we have a second branch in another state so I would add that IP address and also you should add the RFC subnets so let's go ahead and add those real quick. These are your private subnets, so you can always access locally. There we go. So we're gonna hit OK here. Obviously, you as you can see, you also have the option for MFA and guest restricting. So I'm gonna hit OK. And there is our new account. The next step or the next part is to make sure HTTPS administrative access is enabled. And for that, we're gonna head over to network on the left side and then interfaces. 
and then we are gonna find your WAN interface. In this case, it would be this one here. Double click. And you'll find administrative access right here. This one already has HTTPS turned on. Hit okay. And there you go. Now you should be able to reach your firewall or that user will be able to reach your firewall from those trusted host IP addresses and that user can manage uh, or configure the firewall according to that prof admin uh, selections that we made for that user. Real quick to recap the process, we went to system administrators, we created a new administrator we selected what kind of access this administrator could have. Your options again are, are read only, um, super admin, prof admin, and admin no access. And then we selected or enter the IPs that we're allowing um, this user to log in from. And finally, we went to network and interfaces and we enabled HTTPS management for that interface, that WAN interface. Thank you for watching. I hope you found the video helpful. Um, if you have any ideas for future videos, please leave a comment below. Um, and also check us out at firewalls.com where you can learn more about our managed services and check out our large inventory.